Okay, in this tutorial on 3ds Max, we're going to go to our animation and we're going to create animation layers. So here I just have a, a box. I'm going to turn on Auto Key and I'm going to set a base animation. So I have the box positioned at frame 0. I'm going to move to frame 100 and move the box to the other side of the grid. Now when I scrub the timeline, you'll see we have a movement. We're going to go up under Animation animation layers and here we have our control box for the animation layers I've had it open weird so if that happens just go down and reset your default state so here is where you can pick the parameters that you want to assign to a layer um, and for this I'm just going to assign rotation parameters you can use IK you can go in and use modifiers and materials and you know make different types of custom parameters I'm going to click OK. Right now all that does is just show us our base layer. So this is the layer we currently have on. When we go to make a new layer, we have to come over here and click Add Animation Layer. When we get that, we're going to name the animation layer. Rotate. And by default, the duplicate, the active controller type is selected. I'm going to use um, Use Default controller type. And now you'll see the 100 here. And this is how you're going to be controlling your layers. So make sure your correct layer is selected before you start to animate. And I would say open up the modify tab and select your layer here to make sure it's selected and you're on the correct layer. And then we can add our animation to this. So we're at frame 0. I'm going to go to frame 100 and I'm going to add um, angle snap, click on my rotate tool, and I am going to rotate this 360 degrees. So we get one full rotation. So there's our one full rotation. And do be aware that your tangent type when you're animating can cause this to slow down and speed up, and that's part of your animation tangent. So you may want to go into your F curve and make adjustments to that. We're not dealing with that right now. So, I have found that this can get a little wonky and give you results that you don't expect. So play with it before you go into an animation that you've already spent a lot of time on. Um, you know, especially if you're doing something like a control brick. And make sure you're getting the results you expect. So for some things you get exactly the results, other things not so much. So let's take a look at that. So here we are. I go back to my frame 100 and I have 100% so I get that 360 degree rotation. If I take that down to let's say 50% and now I scrub I'm getting a weird glitch in the center um, if I go down to 20% and it is keying it because I have auto key on Again, I'm getting a weird glitch. So I may need to go into my curve editor, figure out what's going on, why this is happening, and make adjustments to it. And if I were on just the base layer when I made this, that probably would not be um, happening to me, but it could. Okay, so we're back at 100%. And if we come around, I'm no longer getting that glitch. So again, you could get weird results. Um, I'm going to go back to about 50% and I'm going to add to the position. So I'm going to add a new position, turn off rotation, and then add a new layer. I'm just going to call this move. Again, I'm using the use default controller type and make sure the correct layer is selected. And now I want to go and grab my move tool and move it up. So I'm not going to move it up a lot. I'll move it up a small amount so you can see what we're doing when we play with this. So here we are, and it moves up, and now it's still up. All right. So we're down. Let's move the angle a bit. Come down all the way. And now we're up. Let's move it up slightly more so it's clear. 
and we go on to here. So at this point, I don't want it up. I'm going to go to zero, and we're back down on the floor. But you'll see we have to change this one pack to 100 weight to get the height that I want it. Okay. And now, maybe I want this to be higher. So if I go and I adjust this, I could pull it higher by adding to the percentage. So that's nice. And again, just be careful when you go to use this. It can add a nice little degree of change. You can go in and make your animation and then adjust the percentage to get some nice feedback, but you may have some, some things that get really weird on you.